Hello friends, welcome back in Lappy Care. Today we are going to see USB supply circuit. As you know, there are two type of USB circuit. One is back side USB and another is front side USB. Here is a back side USB circuit, a USB socket and another front side USB. Here is a USB 1 and another USB 2. Sometimes we get a notification when we plug pen drive or hard disk, uh, USB does not recognize. There is a problem in a USB circuit, so it gives a error. So we have to check a USB circuit in this case. First we are going to trace the USB supply circuit. So let's start it. First set our multimeter in a buzzer range. As you know, there are two USB circuit. First, we are going to see front panel USB circuit. This is a USB 1 and another is a USB 2. As you know, there are four pin for USB circuit. 1, 2, 3, 4 for a one port and another 1, 2, 3, 4 for another port. Similarly, here also 1, 2, 3, 4 for one USB port and another 1, 2, 3, 4 for another USB port. There is a one uh, supply pin and ground pin and remaining two are a data minus and data plus pin. So first we have to find ground pin. Which one is a ground pin? So uh, put one prop on a ground and another to the this is a ground. I put this prop on a ground and I am checking for a ground. So if there is buzzer that will this will be a ground. This is not giving this is also not a ground. This is not a ground. Okay, this is a ground sub ground pin. Means this is a ground pin and opposite of the ground pin is always supply pin and in between the ground and supply there is a data minus and data plus pin. So we get a ground pin. In a second USB there is also this one will be a ground pin. Similarly for another port this is a ground pin. For this port it this is a ground pin means opposite of the ground pin this pin is a supply pin so we have to um, trace the supply from this pin i place one prop on a supply pin there may a, there may be a tiny capacitor resistor in between the usb supply circuit or directly give from the uh, uh, SMPS socket. Let's check it. There is a no any. Uh, first we check supply directly goes to USB or not from the pin number 4 which is a 5 volt. 1, 2, 3 and 4. This is a pin number 4 and supply is directly goes to the USB circuit. Another check for another USB port. This is a supply pin for a USB another USB port. Similarly, and also there is a another port. But sometimes uh, we does not get connectivity directly because there is a mini capacitor or a register we have to find that but in this case there is no capacitor or a register there is a jumper if i remove this we does not get connectivity because the supply comes from this jumper here is i remove the jumper and there is a two leg now place one prop on a 
supply leg and another pin number for in, in a you know uh, smps slot we does not get connectivity because we disconnect the supply from the jumper so let's test it the supply comes on a jumper then goes through the jumper to the usb port from another leg that means supply comes on the this pin and out from another pin sometimes this jumper may be damaged so your usb does not recognize now let's again once check once again that is we get a connectivity now back side usb here is a four back side usb port as you know there are a four leg for usb one is supply one is a ground and two is a data data plus and data minus this is a usb supply first we have to uh, find ground ground leg i put this red prop on ground and place on the uh, leg of usb this is a ground another usb this is a ground for this usb support this is a ground and this is a ground and opposite of the ground always a so, uh, supply this is a supply pin this is supply pin which does not give beef with ground now we have to get connectivity from this supply pin to the uh, smps slot so let's check it i place one prop on usb supply pin there is a tiny capacitor in between the usb port you can see here is a this is a tiny capacitor and they in front of the capacitor there is a fuse so we get a connectivity from the fuse to the capacitor and capacitor to the usb port now we have to find supply from from um, fuse to the usb uh, smps port now i place one prop red prop on a fuse and one black prop in a pin number 4 here i get a connectivity that is means supply goes from the smps slot to the fuse fuse to capacitor from fuse to the capacitor i place red prop on a capacitor and from capacitor to the usb supply pin here is a usb supply pin here is also one jumper in between the this is a jumper in a blue this is a jumper if i remove this jumper then we does not get connectivity from this fuse to the smps slot so let's try it i remove the jumper from the fuse let's check from fuse here is a fuse 
we already see and pin number 4 we does not get connectivity because of the removing of jumper we get connectivity from this jumper now let's try it this pin does not give ok this is a supply goes on this leg of jumper and goes out from this add to the fuse let's place it again this is a simple USB circuit if there is a problem in USB circuit so you can find uh, there may be a fuse damage uh, this fuse can be damaged this capacitor can be damaged or jumper can be damaged so this uh, error can be occur USB does not recognize so in this case we have to check this component I hope you guys you understand very well USB circuit thank you so much if you have any comp uh, any problem then mention in a comment box i will give you a solution thank you so much